Water pressure dropped today. Concerns grew for emergency services in those affected areas. Local 10's Alex Finney is live outside Broward Health with how the hospital and firefighters are handling the water outage. All right, well, Calvin and Nicole did just finish not too long ago speaking with a few more nursing homes in the area just to get an idea from them how they're dealing with all of this. They said right now it is still business as usual, but of course they are monitoring the situation closely, as are many hospitals in the area as well. And when we talk about the fire stations and how they are able to handle any possible emergencies that may arise over the next day or so, they have those water tankers that are in rotation, of course, with help from other surrounding agencies as well. This isn't normal in, a, in a, a short period of time. Fort Lauderdale Fire Chief Stephen Golan says that they have never dealt with the water issue of this magnitude ever before with water expected to be off for 24 hours. A plan for help quickly put in place. Fire rescue has a mutual aid in place for fire suppression. Miami-Dade Fire, Palm Beach, Broward and Davy Fire all part of that mutual aid effort bringing in tankers set to be staged around the affected areas. Our fire trucks carry 750 gallons of water. These tenders carry about another 3,000 gallons of water per truck. So we're able to put a substantial amount of water on scene if needed in the time. With a last resort being drafting water from canals. Chief Golan says the department has enough water as well as backups in place to handle any emergency situation. But the situation of having no water still very serious for over 200,000 people. Broward Health Medical Center saying at this time operations continue uninterrupted. Several nursing homes in the affected areas echoing that same statement. As many tell me, they remain in constant communication with the city. We've conducted a rapid assessment of critical facilities such as nursing homes and hospitals. They are reporting no issues at this time, but we are on standby to take action as necessary. And again, that temporary fix, good news for so many people. Chief Golan did just say that they are expected, the city uh, as well as himself, to give an update about the situation a little bit later on tonight. We are live in Fort Lauderdale, right outside of EOC. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.